the three of them were out here in Nebraska talking about some of these truck stops that they got chains all over the country there. There's a T8 coming up over here on my left there. That's a big uh, truck chain there too there. My uh, petrol. They combined together there a few years ago. And, uh, but they still have them separate there, but they're together in a way, I guess, between the view and stuff like that there or whatever. But there's a lot of TAs all over the country. A lot of, quite a few Petros all over the country, and Petro is a big truck stop. And it's got a big old sit-down restaurant, and I mean, it's got all the bells and whistles inside there, whatever drivers, you know, need and everything like that. The washer dryers, TV rooms, and truck supplies, and everything like that. And, then there's a bottom that's coming up over here in about four miles. You can see a sign over here on the right, the bottom and that's exit north. That's where bottom really started from over here in Grand Island. Big store, big store. And they got a lot of truck stops in the Midwest here too. And they got a pretty neat truck stop. And got a lot of pictures in the restaurant there from everybody that's involved in the bottom there, you know, from the kids. Uh, the wives, the uncles, and pictures of them when they were little and stuff like that, and pretty neat. And pretty good sized trucks out there in Boston, was here in Grand Island. Like I said, that's where they started. And uh, they don't run on 50 miles, but the exit's shorter, and they're right next to the interstate. And they got a lot of parking in this one up here. Then the other big one there is one big one there in Des Moines, Iowa, Boston. Then there's another big one there in Salina, Kansas, a Boston. And they buy their fuel through uh, Pilot. And like I was saying, you know, these truck stops, they buy a lot of quality, quality, quantity of fuel. And they get it a little cheaper that way, and they can sell it back to the customer a little cheaper that way. And still, it's outrageously priced, but it's still going to be a little cheaper than being individual truck stops. And there's not that many mod pause truck stops left like they used to be back there in the 70s and 80s. And they're really the old time ones, the good ones, there was the home cooking and stuff like that, but like I'm saying, these truck stops, they still have good food. Tapro, there's another one there, like I showed you earlier, there, and that's their big chain, too, and so, you know, like they say, the one who dies with the most toys wins. Appreciate it. Bye.